my oh my what a night this is like what an eviction this was like yo guys hey hey um, oh things turned out in a way we did not expect some people did not see what happened coming hey babies and how are you all doing hope you all are doing great hope you are doing fine welcome back to say with me Shirley, Mimi, where you get the gist i see they hot you know this is one stop where you would always get your gist back to back just leave down for me Shirley, Mimi. i deserve some accolade when it comes to bringing it to your doorstep guys let's dive into the eviction without wasting much time it was actually a shocking eviction night so ebuka and my crush started it off with um Suj, the head of house, asking Suj about um why he, when he was eavesdropping um the other time he had um disputes with um Nelly and what was the cause and then Suj revealed that it was Victoria that Nelly was not pleased that he placed his hand on Victoria blah 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 you know afterwards Ebuka went straight into the business of the day and then asked the nominated housemate to stand hey <laughs> guys. To my greatest dismay, like to my greatest surprise, guess who left first? My baby handy of one ex handy. Baby girl felt that coming. If you listen to her diary session, you would know she was feeling it. Like I knew I had this feeling that she's gonna go, right? Because um the one ex handy fan, unlike the double K fan base, they did not actually, you know do like the way they did for cassia even when the kelly ray major families were saying do not vote cassia they have a rise that's coming out for cassia already but that was how um handy left um what's it called biggie's house the sister was crying oh my god oh my god and she was like we are gonna operate from the outside i'm like oh god this one touched me see the eviction that happened tonight it was handy's eviction that touched me more like I, I shed it here. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. You know, maybe because of the bond she has with her sister, that's why I could feel that way. So um after Rosebuka came back with a question for Kelly Ray, of course we know how much um Wani spoke so much about Kelly Ray not giving her meat, Kelly Ray giving her one meat to share with Sean, blah blah blah. You know, now Hebuka asked Kelly Ray, which I was expecting Hebuka to ask that question to Wani direct because Kelly Ray has no business with that. It's his first time hearing that news about meat, you know. So, um, Ebuka said, I wanted to clear this thing about meat. Um, they said, um, something about how you give um, Wani one meat to share with Sean. And then what Kelly Ray said, boy, we no get problem. He said, um, Ebuka, I did not know I did not give her meat complaint. I tried to give everybody the same amount of meat. That was what he could say. And then Ebuka asked Wani that what happened over there. She lamented so much about that. Guys, can you imagine that? Wani even later realized that. After she has collected, you know, the meat Wani was ranting on was extra meat that Kelly Ray even dashed them. It was even meat, dash, dash. Ah, now wow. Like, with his church heart, it was even the last meat that Kelly Ray gave her to say, share with Sean. That is extra meat that no one else got that they, he gave them. And you started, you know, rubbishing the boy in him, talking about how oh, she didn't do this, he didn't do that. Anyways, and then Kelly, uh, Ebuka also asked Kelly Ray about, um... The ish, the um, strike they gave Cassia, Sean, and um, Wani X Handy. And then Kelly Ray spoke about how he felt so sad about that and told Cassia to go apologize to Sean. But Cassia said she don't have to go apologize to Sean because she did not do anything. It was not her who started the conversation with Sean. It was Wani who started it off with saying, come, come, Sean, see what Cassia was saying. So that was how Kelly Ray, you know, spoke about that one. So after that, it was Handy coming off on stage. That was when reality down on me that truly, truly Handy has left Big Brother No Lose Guard House, you know. And then um, Ebuka asked her some questions. What's up with Handy? She said, um, operation from the outside, that it is one year's Handy forever, that she is literally waiting for the sister and then they would operate outside, you know. So that was it with um, she's, uh, Ebuka asked her about Kelly Ray and um, thinking he planned to, you know, get Kelly Ray, and then she said herself and uh, was her name Cassia Aku, and um, she feel like Cassia would not take it personal because of it is her, so that's why she actually stopped anything that had to do with you know trying to get to Kelly Ray through Cassia, right? And then they showcased her highlights in the house. Omo Wani then was literally down, and then it was just Sean holding Wani, petting him. Like, anyways, thank God she has Sean in the house. That was what I was saying, you know. Oh, thank God she has Sean in the house. And then Ebuka came back to ask Onyeka, Onyekus Mekus, <laughs> came to ask her question about how 
they have so much names to call Acacia, Val, Wicked, Evil, all of like I, I can remember the when she was using all those words at the closet. I'm like, yo, what kind of bitterness is this one? I never knew that also came across to Ebuka somewhat in a different way. And Ebukana mentioned those names she called Cassia. And then Cassia opened her mouth like, yo? hey you know and then she was like she was already bitter about how cassia said the thing in about strategy about herself that was why she you knows spilled all of that in her mind and then Buka was like don't you see the way things came across to cassia that it was not really her fault she said right now she can see it but then she was feeling sad and bitter about how cassia said something already then this one is adding up so because of that the the how her heart was so heavy she spilled everything out in all of those things, it was Cassia's face for me. She was like, hey? And then in my mind, I'm like, I'm sure you are regressing why you went to, you know, have conversation with Onyeka and probably apologize to her. Anyways, guys, after that, Ebuka went back to business and the next person to leave Biggie's house was TJ. I was really expecting this one to happen. In fact, I was expecting him to be the first. TJ left happily, like with all smiles. He said, I beg nobody should carry a long face. So like Baba was happy, Baby Big G. Like he was so happy that um, he's leaving. At least make him go see in twins. The guy tried. Some persons could not have this opportunity to stay till this time. But he stayed true and true. So he tried. Uh, Ebuka spoke to him on stage and he said he is ready to, you know, switch entertainment with his profession. And guess what? This guy deserves to be big outside. Like, they need to rush him with deals. This man is not just intelligent. He is brilliant. So creative. Like, what does TJ do? Like, what does he do not do? What this man cannot do is even difficult. Like, he is so good with everything he does. And I really, really wish him well from the outside okay and then the next person the shocker guys the next person who left Biggie's house after tj is sean hey if they had told sean that this is how it will happen i'm very sure smooth sean would not believe this one honestly speaking i'm very sure some of you all never saw this one coming and you know there was this um this thing what was it called there was this list that came out that i saw sean and handy at the bottom that means that list was really right Sean left. They evicted three housemates. It was Handy, TJ, and Sean. It was a shocker. What a night for Wani. What a painful night for Wani. You know, uh, when Sean left, uh, Mebuka asked him question about his movements on the outside. He said the sky is a starting point for him. And then they asked him about Wani. And he said, ah, that was my girl right there. That's my girl. I'm going to be waiting for her outside. We too, we are waiting for you guys outside. We wish you the best, Sean. Guys, that was how Big Brother swept everything. Meanwhile, while um, all these things was going on, a mysterious lady <laughs> came on stage with wedding gown. And Ebuka was like, who is this? Who be this one? What did it happen? And then he now said, let's go back to the house. Then Ebuka spoke to the housemates, you know, spoke to the housemates and tell them goodbye. And guess what? They, um, they appeared back on stage with this lady on white. Because when I saw her, I'm like, hey, what is it? Who is this? I'm very sure most of you guys who saw her as said felt the same way. Like, uh, who can be this lady? So it happened to be that a new series that is yet to be out. I'll be a movie, by the way. And, you know, it's just what they are trying to advertise for us to see. And, you know, find it interesting to go watch when it's out. So that was just what all those shenanigans was all about. Like, I'm like, who is this mysterious lady? like why are they trying to bring somebody into the house is there a drama staring up but it is what it is so guys that was how it happened tonight tj handy and sean left the other hand anita and tofa were busy laughing kiki kakaying i'm like you see this life life no balance while some persons are laughing some people are crying that is one thing about life that's my language they say some people will be laughing in this world while some are crying we all cannot cry at once the moment i'm laughing some persons are crying the moment i'm crying some persons are laughing it's just life you know balance at all so these ones are kiki kakaing because they are safe they are happy they have their sheep back while there is one at the other corner who has run upstairs to go cry her eyes out because both her sheepo and her lo the love of her life that is handy left all at the same time. Had it been one person stayed back, it would have been fair at least and she would have a comfort person. Nobody would comfort her the way Sean would have. You get. And nobody would have comfort her the way handy would have if Sean had left. So the balance, you know, balance, it was not balancing at all. But Wani would be fine. She's a strong girl. She would be fine. So um guess what? It happened that first okay before I talk about that, let's see how the housemates, how the fans voted.
So TJ had 1%, Handy had 3%, and Sean 8%. Wow, Sean stars, what is going on? Meanwhile, it's so surprising, Handy did not even get any vote at all, just 3%. Like, what is going on? Like, she did not even get votes from my risers at all, at all. Like, yo, what is this? Anyways, guys, do you know that Sean Handy, they did not even pack? They did not pack their stuff. It's like they are so confident that they are not going anywhere. You know, I don't know. But because um, Wani is trying to separate some handy stuff and some Sean stuff right now. I'm like, wow, really? No packing. Waiting they stop. Waiting they go on. You know, just like they said, the Zimwe did not pack during their time because they felt like they are safe. They are not going anywhere. <laughs> you see this big issue, you can never predict. Never, you can never predict it one bit. You would think you know the show, but you know nothing. So, guys, that was how everything happened tonight on the live eviction show. Which one was a shocker for you amongst the evicted housemates? I'm very sure some of you, most of you will say Sean because nobody saw that one coming. But at the same time, you know, Sean is this person who has this bragging, like, oh, he feel like he's the one carrying the Chateauria pair. So now it's would down on him that, oh, so I could live before Victoria. So you know the thing about this game, you cannot predict it. The person you think is not playing the game and have the that have um the edge to live fast might be the person that will stay longer. The viewers might just like the person. One thing about this show is grace. The moment people get to know that if you like being the best sheep, if you like being the best friendship, if grace not there your head, you know there your head. Just pray for the fans to like like you. The moment they ju you just get the majority like like love. From the fans forget it you are there to stay no matter what you do if you like just sit down and be staring at space they will say this is my fifth pin a full granny bracket so anyway trace guys this is where i'm gonna be dropping my voice right here in our city heart to leave the rest for you guys in the comment section please feel free to tell me what you think about tonight's eviction which one was a shocker for you let me know in the comment section thank you so so much for always selling with me do not forget to subscribe and make sure your notification bell is steadily on bye for now babies